Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing Saturday, August 21st, 2021. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead. We're going to ring the bell 21 times to call in our trusted ancestors to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to today. I have the power of number two. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius throughout the month of February. Power of number nine. You could be dealing with a Virgo and or a Libra throughout the month of September. And the power of number nine again. Okay, so we have the power of number 20 all together. Okay, we could see the Judgment card kick in and also possibly the Fool card, the High Priestess, and the Hermit. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going to the power of number 20. One, two. Three. Woo. Four. Wow. Look what's wanting to come out. <laughs> Four. Ace of Cups. Wow. Ace of Cups. And somebody having to maybe make a choice in love. Two of Swords. Wow. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Trusted ancestors, what is the main focal point of energy for the day commencing for Saturday, August 21st, 2021, in regards to Scorpio's specific person, the person that they love the most or the person that they think about the most, what does this person want to say to Scorpio, please? What's going on? Ooh, here we go again. Wow. If this person, I just wish this person, <laughs> Scorpio, wish this person could get their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Five of Cups, this person has, again, guilt, remorse, regret, Wow, this is, you know, th this person I feel, Scorpio, is just beating themselves. Beating themselves up. Man, this person needs to get it together, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Some of you guys are dealing with another water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, and or another Scorpio such as yourself. Oh, trusted ancestors, why, 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 why is this person towards Scorpio, their specific person, why are they just, why are they allowing this guilt just to stew and brew with inside of them? Why are they allowing themselves to do this? This person is comical now. Ooh, one, two. Why? Oh my God. Because, oh geez. Third party situations. Three of Cups. I'm hearing from Spirit. It's because they... How do I want to explain this? Okay, one message I'm hearing from one of my trusted ancestors. that They're, they're saying that this person does need you. Scorpio, they do need you. Yes, that is true. They know that your energy and you as a person can get them out of a rut as well. But this person also needs 
to gain wisdom and strength and come to terms with the dark night of the soul and face their inner demons. Okay. Being able to pull it all together here. It could also be too that, and I really, honestly, you guys, I don't pick or choose the cards that go by the numbers. I do feel that somebody's heart got broken by a third party situation. Could be a person, place, or thing, and or situation. This person is grieving over you, Scorpio. They're grieving, whether you know it or not. I do feel that they are talking to friends and or family members about you. I think they are telling other people how great you really truly are. Okay. But I'm also hearing that this specific person could also be telling their friends and family that they basically effed up. Which, some of their trusted family members know this. That this person messed up. But I feel like there is a situation going on here between this Three of Cups and the Five of Cups. See, look at this. This person is crying over three cups spilled over. Here's three cups. Your three of cups. Well, what do you think that means? Well, first of all, I should say second of all, behind this person is the two of cups. It's about reconciliation. So why is somebody crying over a third party situation? Uh-huh. I say that there was a breakup. Or this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, could have found out some information about a third party. They could have found something out that was disagreeable or put them into grief or made them feel like they were being played. Because I am picking up the Knight of Wands. So what I'd say to that, there's an energy going on here between the Three of Cups and this Five of Cups. And I'm going to put a card here in just a moment. Why is Scorpio's person still in this guilt, remorse, regret, trusted ancestors? Why? Because of the deception. That's why. Flat out. Black and white. The moon card. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys, this person is battling. This is what I'm hearing. This person is really, truly battling with inside of themselves. I'm seeing like the five of wands coming up into my mind's eye. Okay. And I think they also feel the guilt because of everything that they emotionally put you through. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they put you through. It's like I'm hearing your specific person say, how can I get back to Scorpio? How can I get back to Scorpio? This person, meaning you, Scorpio, was the best thing that they ever had. This person found out something Somebody, this, yeah, they're grieving or they found out that maybe this third party situation was messing around. Wow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to, yeah. Wow, I'm just, I'm really picking up on this energy. I just, your person found out something. We'll find out here. Mm, mm, mm. Grass wasn't greener on the other side. You should have stuck with Scorpio. For the moon card. And for the five of cups. Oh my God. This person. 
Oh, where do I even begin, trusted ancestors? Yeah, they feel foolish. Bottom of the deck. They could be feeling foolish about an Aries, possibly. <laughs> they could have been dealing with an Aries behind the scenes for some of them. Could be any sign, but Aries energy showing up on the bottom of the deck. They didn't, you know, here's the, here's the bottom line. When your person walked away from you, Scorpio, or if you had to walk away from them, okay, you weren't the one who was the fool, okay? You might have been a fool in love with your person, Scorpio, because you, you love deep, right? However, I'm not saying that this person never loved you. They do. They did. And they do, okay? But they thought the grass was greener. Mm -mm. This person... You know, you never know. Something could have happened over the last three to five days that made this person possibly wake up to whatever this third-party connection is. And remind you, you guys, see, we don't want to give too much more of our time nor our energy on third-party situations. We do not give the permission to third party situations to take away our precious energy the way to get rid of a third party situation is to x them out completely out of your mind and they do have guided meditations to remove a third party situation go to manifest fast with jasmine eliminate a third party mhm mm because she will, in her guided meditation, she will put you in the end game, the end result. If you want this person back, and you got to be the one to change and shift vibrational frequency so that your person picks up on it and that they come to you very confidently, okay? Because obviously this person's stewing and brewing in this massive guilt that they just can't, it, it, it's like it hits them once, then it goes away. And it hits them up again, and then it goes away. And then it hits them up for a few days, and then they're back to normal. And you know what I'm saying? And some of you guys have been having in and out communication with this person, for some of you. Who or what is this Three of Cups, trusted ancestors? Mm-hmm. Somebody who is a troublemaker. Somebody who is a... Who, Somebody who is spying either in on you, Scorpio. This third-party situation could be trying to spy in on you, try to seek out information, possibly. It's a troublemaker, flat out, black and white. So we X. We X this troublemaker. We X this third-party situation out. In fact, I'm going to take control of this energy. And guess what, you guys? I'm flipping that card back over. Be gone. Okay, now... What happened? What happened? Three of Cups and the Five of Cups. What happened here? Why is this person in regret? Yeah, somebody, okay. Somebody's thinking over the situation, meaning your specific person about that connection, okay? Or whatever the situation or the circumstance was. They could be going through a spiritual awakening or there's a little bit of an aha moment. Oh boy, show me the moon. What's going on with the moon? Yeah, again, three people, third party situations, or behind the scenes, your person is telling friends or family members exactly how they feel about you, or they feel that they messed up or effed up. And they feel like it's wondering if they can get you back, if they can have, you know, teamwork and or collaboration. This person's emotions have got to get balanced because as the story progresses, you know, we see this person's energy towards you, Scorpio. It goes up, it goes down, right? And you're waiting for this moment to where it's like they're going to get it right and the, all the lights are going to be green. Well, listen, the more that you emphasize Okay, the more that you emphasize in on what happened or what went wrong between the two of you guys, okay, that's only going to give past hurtful situations 
more power, and more of your precious Scorpio energy. Right? Do not allow third-party situations to rent head <laughs> to rent space in your head, Scorpio. They're doing it rent-free. Don't do it. But this person is battling. Why is Scorpio's person in this Five of Cups? Why, 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 why can't they get out of it? Because they know that they were giving their time and energy to numerous different people, places, things, or situations. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. You could be dealing straight up with a Cancerian. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy I have going on. I feel like somebody took your person for a ride, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm feeling. Give me another message from the Five of Cups, please, in regards to Scorpio's person and their deep-seated guilt that they just can't seem to get control over and just come forward to Scorpio. See, again, what did I say? They have to have the courage and the strength to come forward. So where do we go from here to shift frequency, right? Go into the attitude of gratitude. Thank you, so-and-so, your person's first name, last name, date of birth, for having the courage and the strength to, and you could say something like, apologize to me for hurting me. Thank you, so-and-so, date of birth, for now recognizing my value and my worth. Thank you, so-and-so, date of birth, for successfully getting out of your guilt, remorse, regret, and coming to face me, to face me face to face with open arms and to bring in unconditional love. See where I'm going with that? You gotta shift the frequency. You don't wanna stay stuck in the pain, Scorpio, nor the hurt, okay? Can't do that. We're the transformers of the Zodiac. We got to act like it and we got to be it. You know what I'm saying? Got to be the transformer. Because look, you're the king and or queen of pentacles. This person knows and respects you whether they show it to you or not. That's why I said go into the attitude of gratitude that this person has now found the courage and the strength. To come forward gracefully. Gracefully. What a strength. How will this person get the courage and the strength to come forward? Oh my God. Woo. Somebody got a squirrel up their ass. Chariot. With strength, you could be dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August with the Chariot card. Cancerian and or a Leo throughout the month of July for some of you. In order for them to come forward to rebuild and plant new seeds with you. Message from the chariot. When we go into the attitude of gratitude and we shift that vibrational frequency of the things that this person, Scorpio, that you do care about for a lot of you, okay, to bring you in the Ten of Cups. So, thank you, so-and-so, date of birth, for bringing me unconditional love, for making me your number one priority in your life, for bringing me full-blown-out commitment. Thank you, so-and-so, for proposing marriage to me now. For those of you who want marriage, Ten of Cups. This person, I feel, is going to take back everything they said. I had stated this before, I believe, in possibly yesterday's reading or the day before. Could be 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 days. On the long grand scheme of things, could take 10 more months or 10th month of the year or the 10th hour of the day. This person is bringing in commitment. Show me more of the Ten of Cups, please. In regards to Scorpio's person and them coming forward, racing like victory, yes, the ships are going to be coming in. For some of you guys, it will be in the next three weeks as well. 
and fire sign activity. Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius. A lot of you guys are dealing with fire signs. Mm-hmm. Trusted ancestors. How do we remove? How do we remove third-party situations besides Xing them out of our minds? Show me. How do we remove third-party situations? You focus in on the end game, the end result of reconciling with your person. Six of Cups. You reminisce also too. You can reminisce about the good times that you have shared with that person. So if this person took you out for dinner, if you two were in a committed partnership, think about the good things that used to happen between the two of you. Thank that person for the good things that they did bring to the relationship, okay? Thank that person. But yes, Scorpio, this person is your soulmate. The end game, the end result is only channeling and focusing your energy on your specific person, not the third party. That's the reason why I took control of this as a reader to say, no, you are no longer here. You're not allowed here anymore, third party situation, because this, this person... That you're dealing with, Scorpio. They're in love with you. Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck. You are the be-all, end-all. And so it is. Mm -hmm. Give me a message from the Six of Cups, please. You are the world to them, Scorpio. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, and or another Scorpio, such as yourself. This person went through some kind of ending with the karmic cycle. And they're going to be reaching out energetically, passionately. There could be a flirtatious text message that will be coming in. The magician, some of you guys, again, this is manifestation. This is also Gemini energy. Some of you guys are dealing with Geminis, okay? A lot of you guys are manifesting for this person. Like I said, guided meditations, manifest fast with Jasmine. There are other uh, great uh, law of attraction coaches that have subliminal messages, etc., just you have to do some research, but those are the ones I have worked with specifically, okay? But you got to go into magician mode. You have to see where you want this situation between you and your person to go, okay? Take control. Take control of the energy. Take control of your minds. Focus. What is this energetic communication? Wow. Some of you guys are going to be getting engaged or married, possibly, unexpectedly, for some of you, within the next four weeks. Ships are coming in. Ships are coming in. Four of Wands, Twin Flame, Soulmate, 1111 Connection. This is also your end game, your end result. Happiness, blissfulness, Ten of Cups is dominating over all of this other energy. Manifest for this person to get out of this guilt, okay? And for them to come forward to find that courage and the strength. Ask the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit for them, for the Holy Spirit and their trusted ancestors to put them on the path of least resistance. Okay? And in the meantime... While their trusted ancestors are working in on them, you're going to work in on yourself and you're going to call in on your trusted ancestors to help you with the process. You have a lot of law of attraction coaches out there, a lot of subliminal messages and meditations, and they do work. But guess what? You got to put your time and energy into it. You have to practice it daily, one to three times a day, you guys. It's not a one-time fix deal. No. If you guys have ever seen the movie Limitless, Okay, you don't need to be popping any kind of pill or supplement in order for you to, you know, be like a Bruce Lee or something. Okay, but the bottom line is, that is a prime example 
the movie Limitless to show you how your mind works, okay? And how receptive our brains are. You're going to focus in on the reality that you really true, truly do want with this person. If you so desire. Do not be in desperation for this person. No, 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 no. That is not going to draw them back. Absolutely not. And a lot of you guys are very smart enough to know this. Take back your power, Scorpio. You're the most powerful sign of the Zodiac. And we need to show the other 11 signs of the Zodiac that we're not the type of people that they make us out to be. Scorpio energy should be highly respected because we are about life, death, rebirth, change, transformation. Oh, yeah. Got to embrace it all. And a lot of you guys are manifesting big time, big time. Stop focusing in on the hurt. Stop focusing in on the third parties, their name, their face, whatever. Do not stalk their social media whatsoever. Don't even stalk your person's social media. Okay? Don't do it. If you're friends with your person on social media, just only post stuff about you. Okay? And when you post on social media, make a huge impact. Do something really awesome to show the world or tell the world. And your person's going to pick up on this. Okay? Provided you guys are, you know, friends on social media. A lot of them are spying in on you on social media. Even if you guys are not friends, you don't have them blocked or unblocked, etc. You really truly want this person to come forward. Blocking them is not the answer. It's not. It's not going to prove anything. It's, it's not. Unless... If this person was, I'm saying, domestically abusive, there's a difference, you guys. But if this person was persuaded by outside forces, outside influences, okay, this person has the ability to come back around the bend if you so desire, but never underestimate the power of what your mind can do. Bottom line. This person is definitely in a lot of guilt. It, it hits them like a Mack truck. Then it goes away for a few days. Hits them up again. It is a vicious cycle for them. It is a vicious cycle. Right? So, go into the attitude of gratitude for your person Thank you, so-and-so, for having the courage and the strength now. When you put the word now, as I've been teaching you guys, it puts the intention right here, literally right now, because the future is the here and the now. Not tomorrow. Today. Today. Okay, Scorpio? And you just call upon the Holy Spirit to have this person open up for their enlightenment your spirit guides will listen to you. They will. They will listen to you. So, thank you, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, for the love and support of my channel. And for all you Scorpios that could be a Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising, Scorpio and Venus, and also possibly Scorpio in the planet Jupiter as well. Okay? Until next time, Scorpio, take care.